So <clears throat> let's take a look here. Calm, cool, and collected as they come. Step number one, everybody. What's the first thing we want to snap our attention to? First thing we want to look at. We want to read the question. Yeah, read that question. So focus on what you can focus on. So if you're thinking that the question starts here, if the driver made a total of it, that's not the question. The question always starts with the who, what, when, where, why, how many, which of the following. Again, question words. So that's going to start right here. How much was the booking fee? That's the question. So again, that's what we want. So step one, what we want, we want the cost of the booking fee. We want the booking fee. And everybody, is it fair, is it fair to say that the booking fee is a dollar amount? Is it fair to say that the booking fee is a dollar amount? Is it safe to assume that? So y'all are saying yes. And but why? Jessica, thank you. Exactly. Jessica says, hey, it's going to be a dollar amount because the fee that's in the answer. That's in the answers. Look at the answers. Everybody, let's zoom in. I mean, if you need glasses, don't worry. I got plenty of people in my family need them. Yeah, right there. Dollar signs. Everybody, are the answers in dollars? Yes or no? Right. The answers are in dollars. So we can assume that, yes, the answer is a dollar amount. Yeah, the, we, we want the booking fee, and that is a dollar amount. Now, do we know if that's Y, M, X, or B yet? Maybe not. That doesn't matter, though. I'm going to show you what to do even when you don't know. My ASVAB party, people. Hope you're enjoying the math party so far. Just wanted to remind you before we continue that we do have a way for you to practice everything you need to get the ASVAB score that you want. Because in our math boot camp, we have everything you need in terms of recorded lessons to go through the entire concept. On top of that, we have guided practice, printable worksheets, and speed drills for each and every single mini concept. From adding and subtracting decimals to fractions, distance rate time, word problems, proportions, everything you need. It's all lined up for you and it makes learning as easy as possible. And we make updates to this course on a weekly basis at no extra cost to you. So I really urge you and implore you, go ahead, check out the link in the description for the Math Bootcamp, which is also included in our full program and we make it as affordable as possible. So go ahead, click the link in the description to learn about this more. That way, you know exactly what's available to you to raise your score. I don't want you to feel test anxiety. I don't want you to feel like you're lost and you know, you're just hoping for the best. I want you to take control of your studying and the ASVAB All Access program and the Math Bootcamp are the exact ways to do it. So if you have any questions, my contact info is also in the description. But before we continue, please check it out so you know exactly what's available to you. That way, you can feel confident that there is a solution for you. Let's get back to the video though. Let's ace the ASVAB. But um, here we go. We got this going on. We're looking for the booking fee. All we know right now is that it's a dollar amount. Okay, don't freak out. If it doesn't automatically come to you, this is where you gotta stay calm, cool, and collected. Let's take a look at the information and use the clues that we have. Step two, let's understand what we have. Here we go. It says a taxi driver charges a flat fee to book a trip and then $4.25 per kilometer thereafter. Okay, let us take that slowly. Let's go ahead and read that again. A taxi driver charges a flat fee and then the rate. Everybody, what does it sound like that flat fee might be then? What does it sound like that flat fee might be? Some of us are saying the B, some of us are saying the M, some of us are saying the X. So we're still all over the place and that's totally fine. I'm not gonna give away the answer yet. I'm gonna help us discover what the answer actually is here. So we're looking for that flat fee and it's mentioned right there. But then we also see that we have $4.25 per kilometer thereafter. Let's write that down. Let's write that down. $4 and 25 cents per kilometer. Okay, 
quick question, everybody. What does that represent? If we're, even if we're still arguing about what the answer is, like what that's supposed to be, whether that's Y, M, X, or B, can we tell what the $4.25 per kilometer is? What is that going to be? I think we should know what that is, right? Yeah, that's going to be the rate. That's going to be the rate. Everybody give me the keyword there. What's the reason that that's a rate again? Per. The word per. So even if we don't agree what we're looking for, I know that we can feel confident that we know that this is the rate, right? So boom, I'm going to write that down right there. This is my rate. That's M. Now, everybody, let's take a pause here for a moment. What did I say that the rate also helps you discover? What does the rate help you discover? It helps you discover the Y and it helps you discover the, yeah, and the X. How do I know that? Well, what did I say? The rate is given to you as Y per X. So take a look at this. Just take a look here. Y per X. So that means that Y is going to be the total money and X is going to be the number of kilometers. Everyone, even if you were confused before, does that help you understand what your variables are going to be in the problem? Like this is what I'm telling you guys, like knowing how to look at these numbers, it makes all the difference in the world. It's not just about being like, oh yeah, that's a 425. No, it's $4.25 per kilometer. That is a rate because of the word per, and that connects my Y, which is total money, the resulting money, from X kilometers. Booyah. So now I can give myself a real nice look at this because guess what? If I take a look right over here, the driver made a total of $2,250. Let me just highlight that in green. Total of $2,250. So Y equals $2,250 total. From what? Oh, okay, right here, four kilometer trip. So that means that my X is four kilometers. Now, how do I know that those two are connected together? Because they're specifically telling you four kilometers gives you 2250. This is the X that you put in, how many miles you drive or kilometers that you've driven. And this is your output, the result of money that you get from that trip. So notice, Seth and everyone who was asking before about, hey, isn't time always X? No, time is not always X. Not always. X is always going to be your input. So does that make a little more sense to everybody? Does that make a little more sense? Again, notice that we're taking our time with these first couple of problems because we want to make sure we understand what we're doing. But then once we're ready, man, we're just going to dive in and just crush everything. So here we go. We know that we we figured out what our input and output are, the X and the Y. We have our rate right there. So what must we be looking for in that flat fee, everybody? What does that flat fee represent then? What does it have to represent? No, it's not going to be your rate. It's not going to be your Y. A couple people already said it. Yeah, it's going to be your B. The flat fee is going to be the beginning amount. And if you think about it, it should make a little more sense because let's think about the situation in English. Everyone do me a favor. Pencils down. Just put them down. Just listen. Just listen. Just listen. Think about how you actually book this cab. When you try to book this cab, first, before you even get in the cab, this cab driver tells you, hey, there's a flat fee to book me. Flat fee right out the gate. Let's assume it's like $10 or $20, like whatever it is, right? Let's just say it's $10. You're paying this flat fee to come in. And then for every kilometer that I drive, I'm charging you this much money on top of that. But everybody, do you, do you see how the flat fee is what you pay at the beginning before anything else even happens? Do we see that? The flat fee is what happens before anything else does. It's already there in the beginning. So remember, it's about relating the meaning of each letter. B is what's there at the beginning. At the beginning, before the action, before the rate. 
Again, the B is what's there before the rate takes place. Boom. We are starting with a flat fee, and then we get charged for every kilometer that the taxi driver drives. And so that's why the booking fee is what you pay flat out in the beginning. So boom, let's write that here. This is your B. Beginning amount. That's a flat fee from the beginning, and then you get charged per mile. So for example, one last example before I set up and solve it, if our booking fee is, let's say, a dollar, or let's actually keep it simple. Let's say it's $5 to book it as the flat fee, and then a dollar per kilometer after. So before you get in the cab, the taxi driver says, hey, $5 flat fee, then every kilometer, another dollar. Okay, so you get in. He hasn't driven anywhere yet. You still owe this man $5. You haven't driven anywhere. You still owe him $5. He drives the first kilometer. That's now $6. Another kilometer, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. But notice we started from the $5 flat fee because that was there before the driving even happened. You need to pay that for me to basically serve you as your driver. Yeah, and then you pay on top of that after the fact. That's called robbing you. No, that's that's how a lot of services work. <laughs> that's how a lot of services work. But hopefully that makes a little more sense, my part of people. Hopefully that makes a little more sense because now we can plug everything in and solve here. So here we go. We're gonna have our same thing here. Y equals MX plus B. We are looking for B. We're looking for that flat fee. So we'll plug everything else in. And even if you didn't understand still that the flat fee is B, hopefully you understand what the M is, what the X is and the Y is. And that can tell you intuitively that the flat fee must be the B, must be. That's how lawyers work, exactly. Flat a retainer and then they charge per hour, exactly. So here we go. Let's get into it here. Let's go ahead and solve. Bam, everybody, what was my Y again? Let's, let's plug it in here. Help my poor eyes. I can't see very well. What's my Y again? That's right. My Y is going to be 2250. Okay. Everybody, what is my M again? Help me out again. I can't. I keep forgetting what these numbers are. What's my M again? 425. That's correct. All right, everybody. What was my X? What did I have here? How many... Uh, how many kilometers were driven? Right, there's gonna be four. And then we're looking for B, so we're just gonna leave that right there, plus B. I'll keep that in red. And now we'll go ahead and solve. Everyone, what's the first thing that we're gonna do? Is it gonna be doing something to both sides or just cleaning something up? What's the first thing that we're gonna do? Evan, I love the terminology you used, combined like terms. We gotta do the 4.25 times four. No, the 425 is not the initial fee. No, look at this. This says 425 per kilometer. The word per gives away that that's M. That that's M. Yeah. And so here, let's go ahead and combine those like terms, the 4.25 times the four. Let's figure out what that is here. So plug that into the side. Let me put this in purple. And so, boom, five times four, that's going to be 20. Two times four, that'll be eight. Carry that two, that'll be 10. And then four times four is 16. Carry the one is 17. Everyone, what did I say we should always do with decimals when we multiply them? Because at first, just ignore them because we just we definitely ignored the crap out of those decimals. But what do we do with the decimal places after the fact? We drag them all back, exactly. We count the number that we ignored and we bring it all back. So what that's gonna be right here is it's gonna be one decimal place, two decimal places. We'll bring two decimal places back. Boom. So we have ourselves over here, 2250 equals $17. And then we still have that flat fee. And here is your regularly scheduled announcement, my party people. Remember guys, I host a free class every single week and more classes beyond that. 
So make sure to check the group tutoring schedule so you know when the classes are, when you can expect to see me live so you can raise your score and get that job you want. So click there to see the schedule and let's keep getting back to the YouTube video right over here. So look at this, just, just take a look at this before we finish solving it, just take a look. That 2250, that total amount of 2250, let me use my, my corner here, that total amount of 2250, that is equal to the flat fee plus the fee that you earn, like the fee that you that you piled up from the driver. So four kilometers got us to $17 on that meter, but we still owe that flat fee. We're trying to figure out what that flat fee was. So let's figure out what that flat fee is by subtracting from both sides. So yeah, definitely Montreal, you can definitely use that mental math too. But yeah, so here we'll take care of the rest of business here. Subtract 17 on both sides. That's gonna cancel on the right side, leaving us with B equals, well, let's find out. Zero minus zero, that's really hard. Five minus zero, man, this is so hard. Oh, five, bring the decimal down. Remember when you are adding and subtracting with decimals, keep the decimals lined up. Two minus seven, I can't do that. 12 minus seven, that's gonna be five. So we have 550 equals B. And that, my friends, that's our flat fee. That's our flat fee before getting into the taxi, before actually driving, that's our flat fee. And before you go, if you like what you saw and you wanna raise your score with thousands of practice problems just like that, so you can lower that test anxiety, raise that confidence, go to this link right here to check out the full program. There's a video that shows you exactly how it works, but you're gonna get lessons, guided practice, worksheets, speed drills, and everything that you need to feel supported from day one all the way until you pass. Again, I'm Coach Anderson, and I'll see you soon.